Today I'm taking you to Walmart in Shenzhen. Uh, we're going to see what um, a Walmart like here in China compared to a Walmart back home in your country. So, um, just across the road here, uh, it's just a quick, a quick short journey on the metro. Um, it's about, it's about two stops. Takes about ten minutes. So, uh, let's do it. Uh, so you can have a look around Walmart. Um, I'll show you some price and some items here. At Walmart in Shenzhen. Uh, maybe you can compare them, or I'll do a comparison with what some of those things cost um, back home or in your country. Just missed a metro, never mind. Uh, we'll wait for the next one. It shouldn't be too long. Okay, metro is arriving, so we'll be uh, on our way shortly. Uh, it's just a couple of stops, so literally about five. Five minutes, seven minutes, something like that. Let's see. Oh, this is the uh, this is the exit. Okay, so let's find the entrance, shall we? Okay, so I guess we should get a shopping trolley off this nice young lady. Shishi. Oh, here we are, Walmart. So as you can see. Um, First part is also a toiletries and, and such like. Um, things like shampoo and that is, is kind of a lot more expensive than, than sort of back in England. Uh, I'll just give you a, a quick sort of show of, of some things. Maybe you, you're familiar with some of these brands, maybe not, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll. Some of these brands may or may not be familiar to you. Um, oh, so, for example, uh, here we have Head and Shoulders, which you will be familiar with. Um, and as you can see, it's much more expensive than than in England, and maybe more expensive in the US too. I'm not sure. A very small one here. This one is a uh, this one is a sort of smaller one. Um, this one's a, a larger one. And I don't really know what size that is. Um, and then we have these ones here, which are uh, 80 RMB, which you know, compared to the UK, that's really expensive. Um, doesn't seem to have a size on um, there, but it's certainly much more expensive than in England. Okay, other other hair products. So um, gel here. Uh, this is a, a Chinese brand of, of gel. So um, Ole product here, which is this is 50 grams. Um, it's a 149. Yeah. So this, this floor has sort of toiletries, clothing, household items. Um, you know, there's, there's quite a lot. Generally clothing is cheaper here in China than the, the West. Um, and things like tissues are generally um, 
cheaper so for example you can see here these are uh, 19.5 RMB for a pack of eight eight large tissues so I think that's probably cheaper than done in the UK um, here we have uh, washing powders detergents um, again I think I'm not sure whether this is cheaper or a similar price to the UK or, or, uh, or what um, Uh, this is a brand you'll be familiar with so this is uh, Tide and it's 34.8 yuan and I'm not quite sure how heavy it is I think it's 4.6 kilos so I'm not sure how that compares with um, other countries but yeah 4.6 kilos baby products um, in the If they're Western baby products, they will be more expensive if they're Western brands. Generally, Chinese brands will be will be cheaper, but you know that's that's the way it is here. Um, so uh, we're coming up to something now, which is which is way more expensive here in China than, than in the West. So this is this is baby milk. This is Friso. Um, so this is baby formula powder milk. And this is, for some reason, um, well, the reason is that they had a scandal many years ago here in, in China. Um, but, but baby milk is really expensive here and, and many, um, many Chinese don't trust the Chinese brand. So they, they, will, they will have um, Western brands. Uh, but as you can see, um, it's really quite expensive, um, like 226 for Aptimil, and um, that's around 25 pounds uh, per one. And then uh, the Aptimil Gold here, for example, this is 355 RMB, which is it's approaching 40 pounds. Uh, baby wipes. Um, I guess these are similar, or, or maybe even cheaper here than, than in the UK. But I guess I guess quite similar. Down to the food. So again, another one of these uh, transporting walkway things. We're approaching the food. So this little kind of corner here is where they have some special offers. Okay, so these are a brand called Lay's. Um, I believe these are big in the States. And you get three, three um, kind of top stacks, whatever you want to call them, for 19.5 RMB. Now, we have something called Pringles in the UK and they're way cheaper than Pringles. I don't know how they stack up with prices for this brand in the US, so maybe you can leave um, you guys from the US leave something in the comments. Let me know if they're cheaper or more expensive. Um, okay, a number of Chinese type of snacks here, um, things like that. So, yeah. Um, this is a another big brand that's popular here in um, China. Uh, Nabati cheese wafer. These are 9.90. Again, I've no idea if that's good or, or not. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Uh, this is really pretty, pretty popular. These Denisa biscuits. They're um, butter cookies. They're based on a Danish recipe, but they're actually very nice. So this is where you see all the live fish. So this is is really the most popular way of selling fish. The Chinese like to buy fish live um, and then they, they take them home and sort of um, sometimes they're still live when they get home but this is this is really the way that the Chinese like that they they much prefer to buy their fish live than the, the dead. So we have various different kinds of meat here. Okay so these are chicken wings. Um, 
Chicken wings are kind of expensive here, so as you can see there, 29.9 yuan for 500 grams. Um, but I, I much prefer to buy sort of chicken breast and chicken thigh, as it's only 6.8 per 500 grams. It's actually way, way cheaper. So you've got these, these nice big pieces of chicken here. It's just 6.8 for 500 grams. So two kilos is, is literally 28 RMB, whereas two kilos of wings is much more expensive. Um, <clears throat> chickens here. These are whole chickens, so these are generally cooked quite expensive here. Um, so it's uh, 25.8 for 500 grams. So a, a two kilo chicken is going to cost you over 100 RMB. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Chinese really like chicken feet. And chicken Chinese really like chicken feet. Chicken feet are 18.9 for, for 500 grams. Um, and then you go to drumsticks, which are only 11.9 for 500 grams. And then you have chicken breast, which for us English people, we feel is the best part of the chicken. And this is just 11.9 for 500 grams. Pork is pretty expensive right now because they have a, an outbreak of swine flu in China, so they have to kill many pigs. So, and with a trade war with America, they're not importing any pork from there. So, pork is really kind of expensive. Um, so, if you look at a fillet of pork here, it's 38 for 500 grams, 30, sorry, 34.8 for 500 grams. But then, um, you look at other kinds of pork. This is pork that uh, Chinese people really like. Um, actually, they, they like fatty pork. Uh, this is 36.9 per per 100 grams and then here is, is pork ribs uh, pork ribs are really nice but as you can see pork ribs are 60 RMB for 500 grams that's really expensive okay so we'll move on to have a look at fruit and vegetables um, personally I feel fruit is is more expensive here than, than in England um, but it'd be interesting to know what, what it is in other countries, how it compares. It'd be great if in the comments you could leave some comments commenting on how it compares with the same kind of thing in your own country. Okay, so apples. Um, as you can see here in China, many things are priced per 500 grams, uh, which is different to the UK. Most things are priced per kilo. So here you see some nice, Nice red apples, and they are 6 yuan 98 per 500 grams. Actually, I think I might get some of these because they really do look quite nice. I might get two or three of these. So uh, let's find a bag. So we use these bags to, to put the apples in. Um, and we will, we will grab that. And we'll put, put three nice apples in here. So these are pink lady apples. Um, actually, they're, they're, they're really my favourites, these pink lady apples, and I love them. Nice one, maybe this one here looks good for so four nice pink lady apples there. Um, I need to go get them weighed. Okay, so we have. Um, those apples there which are really good um, and we have a number of different kind of apples here these are 9.98 for 500 grams and oh so um, these are really kind of expensive um, I'm not sure why these are so expensive but these are 19.8 for 500 grams 
is this is something which personally I don't like, but um, a lot of Chinese really, really like this. It's called dragon fruit, 6.28 for 500 grams. Let's have a look at some oranges. Uh, so these ones here, we have 998 for 500 grams. We have 898 for 500 grams. Peaches here. Uh, these look quite quite nice peaches. These are lovely. Um, these are 598 for 500 grams. Pineapples. Um, these are 14.9. Uh, not sure whether that is each or for 500 grams. Some, some different oranges here. These are oranges of these. Okay, it doesn't say. Oh, Outspan. Oh, it's a famous, famous brand I know from my childhood. So these are uh, 598 for 500 grams. In fact, I might get some of those as well. So yeah, those, I think. So again, which one? Maybe that's a nice one. For oranges in the bag, strawberries. Um, these small amount of strawberries here are 29.8 uh, for 250 grams. Also, things like um, blueberries, a small, um, small amount, small top here of uh, blueberries is 25 RMB. Okay, something that's generally um, cheaper here in China is vegetables. Okay, so we have here, this is uh, cabbage. And, um, okay, let's just center myself back in there. Okay, so we have cabbage. Uh, cabbage here, this is uh, 1.99 RMB for 500 grams. Um, broccoli. Broccoli is 5.58 for 500 grams. And then we have uh, sweet corn. Sweet corn is uh, 2.5 for 500 grams. And then finally we've got uh, potatoes. Uh, potatoes are 2.98 for 500 grams. So carrots, carrots are uh, 2.58 or 2.58 for 500 grams. So something I've just noticed here, this is something that is absolutely, people love this in China. And it's a fruit called durian and it really has a strong smell to it. This is a uh, 19.9. Um, this is something I'm not that familiar with from the UK. I don't know whether um, any of you guys know what it is or have tasted it or, or it's popular in your country. Let me know in the comments. Moving on from um, fruit. Oh, just, just check out bananas be before we go. So bananas, um, quite a popular brand, which we also have in the, in the UK. Um, I guess that's maybe from, I'm not sure where it's from. Maybe it's from Thailand. I'm not sure. I need to check. So bananas are 4.98 for 500 grams. So about uh, 10 yuan per kilo. One more thing uh, before I go are, are eggs. Now uh, eggs, um, range massively in price so you've got you've got uh, eggs here 12.9 for 500 grams uh, 22.9 for 500 grams um, 25.8 uh, for a pack of where is it now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that's a pack of 20 eggs for 25.8 um, again, let me know how that compares to, to your country. Let's check out milk. Milk's an interesting one. Um, fresh milk in China is really, really expensive. And I used to drink a lot of milk in the UK, but I'm not able to do that um, so easily here in China just because of how expensive it is. 
So, um, unfortunately, I'm not sure what this offer is, but, but, but this milk here, as you can see from, from um, the price, it's 20 RMB for, for one litre. They do have some sort of offer going on on that, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, and you've got others here. This is, this is, uh, this is 22 for a litre. This is my favourite brand of milk here, which is called Kalu Dairy. And this is 20.8 for a litre. So as you can see, milk is really, really quite expensive here in China. Something else which is, I feel, quite expensive here are nuts. So um, maybe you can tell me what kind of price nuts are in your country. So this is um, pistachios. And for this, this tub of pistachios, which is 425 grams, it's 69.8 yuan, uh, which is about seven pounds, seven to eight pounds. I will confirm that. Uh, almonds, similar type of almonds, 69. Um, again, 69.8 for uh, 560 grams here of mixed nuts, and that's 69.8. Biscuits generally a bit more expensive here than back up. Not, not massively, but they, they are a little bit more expensive. Well, these are these are quite, quite not a bad deal. These are some Belgian biscuits, 12.8. They're on a deal at the moment. So these Italian biscuits are really popular here. Uh, quadratini, um, I believe they're Italian. And this is just a 125 gram pack and they're 24.8 again quite expensive i, I think uh, vanilla tiramisu and neapolitan flavor or hazelnut flavor i take something i'm familiar with for, from england which is um, at vitis um, uh, um, is here these are standard pack of digestive biscuits, um, 400 grams and they're 14.5 RMB, which is it's not excessive but it's a little bit more than, than England. And uh, a 250 gram pack is 9.9 .9 yuan. So something they don't have here like we have in England are the packets of chocolate digestive. I guess it might be something to do with the heat. What they do have, they have they have these which are kind of like finger digestives um, and there's six individual packets inside and um, the total weight there is 180 grams oh well, they've actually got them on offer at 11.9 yuan at the moment they're normally 16 so i think i'll i think i'll get a, a box of those in my trolley because that's a good price so yeah let's have some of those um, so they also have um, chocolate chip cookies like, like these. I guess they're very, very similar to Chips Ahoy in the States. Oh, 200, 285 grams for 11.8, uh, which seems a, yeah, that's a pretty good price, I think. Hello. A timber don, thanks, yeah. Okay, I was just a manager from Walmart wanting to know what I was doing filming. Oh yeah, these are these are really nice. These are uh, sort of butter cookies. These have raisins in. These are my favourite. These are really nice. And these are 11.5 RMB for a box. Okay, so let's move on. Snickers bars. Snickers bars. So this is a promotional pack. They're 13.8 yuan, uh, which I think is similar to similar to the UK um, here you get four four bars the total is uh, 239 grams there's four standard size bars and one mini bar free as I say 13.8 RMB which I think is a pretty good price uh, Paw Patrol it's a brand that's really big here in China at the moment and uh, Skittles those Skittles here they are 3.8 
a 40 gram pack. Uh, and... oh, so these here, they're probably one of the most famous candies in China. They're called white rabbits and they're kind of a milk toffee. They're really nice. Again, we have um, some other brands that you might recognize here. So Wrigley's. Wrigley is again really popular here in um, China. I think this is probably cheaper than, than England. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six packs of Wrigley's uh, Double Mint for 6.6 .6 UM. Next is chocolate. So chocolate over here. Hershey's is a big, a big brand of chocolate over here. We don't have Hershey's in, in England. Um, I believe it's an American brand. Well, I know it's an American brand. So we have here, as you can see, some 40 gram bars of Hershey's for 7 yuan. Um, again, you American viewers, you American guys, please tell me if that's a good price or, or not in the comments. 210 grams of Hershey's chocolates. And these are 29.8 Whitakers, and this is 29.8 for 200 grams. So, I guess that's not a whole lot different to what that would cost in the UK, but actually, it's, it's quite nice that is the, the hazelnut. Um, uh, Kinder's also pretty big here, um, the sort of small packs are eight. Eight little bars for 12.8 and the M&M's so M&M's for a, a 4.5 for a pack of 40 grams which again I think is probably pretty similar to to England uh, Snickers which we have a, a lot of Ah, oh, here's an interesting one. Um, so Maltesers, I think, are pretty expensive over here. So we have 520 grams of Maltesers and 520 grams of Maltesers at 88 RMB. This is a brand we, we don't have in England. Um, this is called Dove. Um, I believe it's in other countries, the States or that may be. This is 7.2 for, for a 43 gram bar. Okay, here's jam. This is Hero Jam. That's 32.8, which is a lot more expensive than the UK. And I believe this is an American band. This is Schmuckers. And this is 19.8 for a, for a jar of, of jam. Um, that is something you'll recognize so uh, Heinz tomato sauce and Heinz tomato sauce is 6.9 for how many grams 320 grams we've got large um, 350 grams of Nutella there for 37.70 seems like a similar price I guess Something which is much more expensive here are cereals. Um, so we have um, Kellogg's Cocoa Rocks and it's just 170 grams and it's 19.8. Um, Kellogg's Frosties. Frosties similar to the UK. Uh, again, just 175 grams but 19.8 which is, is really quite expensive compared to, to England. This is a Japanese uh, brand of cereal called Kalbi and it's really nice. Um, I actually buy it in Hong Kong because it's, it's the same price in Hong Kong but you get 800 grams here. You just get 500 grams and it's 49.8. The brand you'll, you'll really be familiar with is uh, Quaker. Quaker is quite a big brand here. They have many different kinds of, of oats. I think it's kind of similar pricing to what it is in the UK. So a, a one kilogram bag is 21.8. Okay, we'll go and have a walk around. And uh, finally we'll look at drinks and alcohol. So um, drinks and alcohol are generally cheaper here. A one liter bottle of Coca-Cola 
a one litre bottle of Coca Cola is just 5.9, and smaller bottles are 2.9. Uh, which is much much cheaper than they are back in England. This is what you're seeing here now. This is Baijiu. Um, this is a like a. It stands for white alcohol. Baijiu, white alcohol, and this ranges from from really quite cheap, maybe less than 50 RMB for a liter, and it can be thousands and thousands of uh, RMB a liter too. Um, Actually, this is this is a really famous brand here. It's called Mao Tai. Uh, it's a really famous brand of, of Baijiu. Um, Walmart tend not to stop the really expensive ones, um, but they they generally bought as gifts at uh, festival times here in China. Um, wine I used to think was expensive, but actually I think it's kind of similar to to the the prices in. Uh, the West. So this is um, yellow tail. This is 49 RMB for a bottle. Um, let me see if I can find some other brands that I recognise. Um, don't really recognise many of these brands, to be fair. Uh, maybe you will. Some. Okay, so Copper Ridge. It's a white Zingerfeld. That's 58 RMB a bottle. A bottle of Prosecco there is 58, which is really pretty reasonable. It's pretty much the same as what you'd pay in the UK, I think. It's maybe even cheaper. Spirits, so actually some of the spirits I think are actually cheaper than, than in the UK. So we've got some vodka, 69. A bottle of Jim Beam here, 98 RMB. Um, uh, Kenrick Scotch whiskey for a, a litre bottle is 58 RMB. Uh, Kentucky Gentleman, that's some sort of bourbon whiskey, um, that's uh, 68. So, yeah, uh, Bailey's down there is uh, 89. Um, Bottle of Jack Daniels there seems quite expensive at 238. Not quite sure why that's so expensive. Um, Johnny Walker Black Label 198. Uh, Absolute Vodka is 89. Again, sort of Chinese liquors here. And then finally, there's another. There's another Mao Tai there at 158. Uh, 198. As I say, the Mao Tai is a really famous brand, uh, but it, it does vary massively in price. Okay, so finally we'll do beers. Um, Ho Garden there, 9.9. Uh, again, a bit more expensive because it's an import. And Cronenberg, 15.5. Generally, if it's an imported beer, it's more expensive than um, a local beer. So you look at the local beers, uh, it's 4.3 uh, for Qingdao, and it's a 600 ml bottle. And then you have another Qingdao here at 3.9, 7.5. 5.9 and remember these are all 600 ml bottles um, Budweiser is normally pretty much cheaper here as well I've seen this one before this is a Budweiser Supreme and this is 9.5 for a bottle Heineken 9.9 so yeah it's, as, as you can see it's, it's really much cheaper here um, Six three hundred and thirty mil cans, which are twenty two point eight. Oh, so they have a, a deal here. This is um, six six hundred mil bottles of Qingdao, it's just twenty three point eight. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, Six cans of 330ml Budweiser, just 
Okay, so I think I'm pretty much finished. Uh, we'll go and pay, pay for what we have and check out. So we're gonna, we're gonna go and pay for our stuff now. And then uh, we're gonna go home. So. Okay, so the shopping's finished and we're leaving Walmart. Um, back next time. Okay, I hope you found that interesting, looking around the Chinese Walmart and comparing some of the prices. It'd be great if I could get some comments about what things cost in your country compared to here. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, um, ring the bells, subscribe to the channel to see more. Until next time, take care.